Gotta show off the eye candy. Shout out Lord Montero. Send her my number. She never texts me. But my phone went off anyway, so I don't know. But uh Now I'm the rain man. Hey let's go. That's my number two. Before I became the rain man. I was the rain man when I sent my number nigga. But checked out. I'm about to peel your muffin cap back on these charts. Watch this, watch this. Real quick, we're gonna go through this really quickly. Like this video might be long, but we're gonna like keep saying it after you say it really quickly. Right? Okay, check this out. This is the Rain Man algorithm. This is what price was doing, this is what price is doing, and this is what price is about to do next. You know, it's a three part trade. Every trade is two trades, and there were two trades before it. So you need to know the up and down motion of the last trade and the down and up motion of this trade or the down and up motion of the last trade and the up and down motion of this trade currently. And here is how we do it. We're going to use the 30 minute chart and we're going to use the four hour chart. Here we go. Check this out. CCI commodity channel index, commodity channel index, CCI period three, boom. Period seven, boom. Period 200, boom. We're waiting for the 200 to be all positive, just like the three and the seven, okay? Until then, the four hour wave is not done. Your, your stops shall be hunted promptly. Don't worry about that one. Based on this chart, this is the chart that's gonna hunt your stops. Oh my God, they're gonna hunt your stops on this chart. Your stops are gonna get popped. Oh, they popped my stop. <laughs> that was the game. That's the game they're playing. Okay, on this chart, there's a trap. I just showed you what the trap was. Until the CCI 200 on the four hour is positive, there is no long term sell happening on this chart, my good sir. And this chart will be the one that will execute you after you execute your trades. They're going to execute your executed trades on this chart. This chart go fuck you up, dog. Watch this, watch this. Don't look at any chart underneath this time frame. Anyway, right? Don't do it, right? And uh, I really hope they don't freeze. Like, cause this is the meditator, bro. They're kicking me off, bro. I just saying, no connection. Like that other account with three dollars in it, I can't even use it to buy Stella right now on the four hour rain, man. They took out all my demo trades. You know what I'm saying? They done took out all my demo trades. I built 1.2 million from 1 million, almost 1.3. Now they won't let me log in to this one. Maybe not. I don't know. It don't matter. They done took out all the trades anyway. I can't place trades in them. They say they're going to give me a new platform to trade on. Okay, boom. So I'm calling a sell on a 30 minute chart for the NASDAQ, right? Okay, because we know the four. Our CCI 200 is not positive yet. Okay, so until then, it's still a buy long term. But the 30 minute stochastic is topped out, it's over 80, and we're seeing sell signals. So now it's just a stochastic 30 minute drop off. So I wouldn't sell it past 650. I wouldn't go past the next price level down just because. Because 650 was the last high that it reached, and then I had caught that sell last night after I was in a buy, but got out of the buy at like 450, you know, and tried to sell it, and then it went up to 650, and I was out of there. And then, because I tried to sell it 10 times, and then you could have just bought it up 10 more times, bro. What's your problem? And uh, that's, what I, that's what you get. So now, the price level underneath this is 650. So when I sold it from 650 yesterday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, it dropped down to 581 by 6 a.m. 12 hours later after market volume. Now, I was supposed to buy it right there. I had doubled my account. I was supposed to buy it right there and double my account again. And be closer to ten dollars and fifteen dollars or whatever, twenty or whatever. So it's just that fast now. So now I see it and stuff. I can see it. So I'm gonna be making the videos about this. This is what I refer to Hollywood trades, and I refer to this as encandlement. We are in candle right now. Okay, the price is dropping on on the thirty minute just because of the stochastic. So once the stochastic is under fifty or under twenty. You know, like under 30, between 20 and 50, basically, 
really supposed to be between 20 and 30, but we're going to watch it and see how low it really goes. How low do you go, right? You know what I'm saying? Drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it low, girl. You know what I'm saying? We're about to see how low it drops it, right? So this is a short sell, and this sell is the trap. It's a double trap because if anybody tries to buy it here too many times, they're done for. If you try to sell it here for too long, past that next price level down, you're done for. It's a double trap. Oh my God. There's two traps on this track. If you try to buy it here a lot, it won't work. You want to wait until it's buying again. It's not buying again right now on the 30 minutes to cast it. But long term, it is buying on the CCI 200, right? Now let's go to another chart where I'm actually in this play on my live account. I just caught the four hour rain dance. We call this move the rain dance. The rain dance, nigga. Right? Four hour CCI 3 and 7 just went positive after the CCI 292. So that means all of the CCIs we had set up were negative. We just condensed our chart a little bit, but really. We used the CCI 3, the 7. I added the 3 and 7 to the 20, 50, and 200. Really was just using the 20, 50, and 200 on the 4 hour. But once the 200 is hit, you could take the 3. Until then, the 3 is not to be trusted. The 3 would only represent this 30 minutes to cast away that you would already know happen because you would be looking at the 30 minute chart. You're bouncing off of the 30 minute chart in the 4 hour. It took me 6 years to finally get how to do that because it's a dance it's a double chart dance so there's no shame in saying hey it took me six years man like literally my six year anniversary is going to come up in a month and two weeks so right at that mark so it's like cool i just went to college in the market paid cash tuition to learn the market and now i get to do what with whatever i want i get to do whatever with it i want man. whatever i want with it i can do I'm the king, I can do whatever I want. If you have the king, you fossil. Right? Simple. No, it can't be. <laughs> Run away, Scott. <laughs> and never return. <laughs> oh, shit. So, we're experiencing a candle So, we just caught the stellar SLM USD stellar lumens cryptocurrency buy for the weekend. Take profit on the four hour next price level up. We have it set for twelve fifty. We didn't set it at all, but twelve fifty is twelve green on investing.com five hour stellar chart. So it should have to hit there. So you see twelve six hundred is right under where I just said. So it's like it's all a game. So I'm not looking at those candles, bro. Don't worry about that. But I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at right here, bro. Check this out. I'm looking at the price levels, bro. Fuck these candles. I'm at the price the price is right so look four hour just started the rain dance bullish bullish rain dance on the four hour that means we're going at least up to 12 easy right 600 points 60 pips now watch this 30 minute sorry 30 minute still bullish stochastic not already still bullish see right there red line that's my moving average 200 didn't hit it yet so around 11 502 should have to drop back at least to the spice levels at now or back to where it started at 305. All right, get out of the buy, sell it down in the sales. Then it's done, get out of the sell, buy it back up, boom, boom, and just do it like that, right? Now, we know what the trap is on this chart. The trap is to buy it right here because eventually it's going to have to sell back out. You're buying at the top of the stochastic is crazy, right? Basically, okay. Rain Man algorithm right here. I have my stochastic, and then I didn't even mention my bears bulls. That's just an out of confluence because when my bears go negative, that means the bears are in power. And then it's going to make the bears and the bulls double negative, right? The bears are going to go negative first, and then it's going to drag the bulls negative, right? And then... The bulls are going to go positive and it's going to drag the bears positive. So it's a scalp signal. It's the bears bulls default standard factory setting period of 13. But it's it's not standard because I actually have my bears bulls modified. That's why I call it bears bulls because it's really called bull bear. So I modified it. Biatch. 
you change the apply to the high. You want your bears to apply to the high, your high to apply to the bears because the bears want to sell, right? But the smart bears want to sell from the highest point of the chart. Cha-ching, biatch, right? Look, bulls power, duh. You're going to apply your low to the bulls because the bulls want to buy, duh. But the smartest bulls want to buy from the lowest price possible. Cha-ching, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the name man. So that's, that's where we're at with it right there. Now, if you are brand new into forex trading, then this is the only thing you're going to know. And not only that, but if anyone's not brand new and they haven't realized this, then this is their eureka moment. If they are not brand new and already realized this, then they see that this is the eureka moment for me. And I've condensed it into 10 minutes to me, 11 minutes to explain that. Damn, so if I explained it three times, this, this would be a 40-minute video, or a 34-minute video, basically. So, that's basically it right there, bro. I just did that for you. That is encandlement, what Bryce was doing before, what it's doing before that, what it's doing now, what it's going to do next. So, a quick recap. Before 12 minutes, 4 hours, CCI 200, negative 92. CCI 3 and CCI 7, positive 100 and positive 52, respectively. That means we're not selling long term until the CCI 200 is positive. And then the CCI 3 shows a bearish negative sentiment. Then, until then, buddy boy, we are on this chart, 30 minute. And when the bears 13 go negative, we're going to sell it down until the bulls go negative and then go back positive. By that time, the stochastic should be under 50 or 30 or 20. And then the CCI 3 and 7 will switch over to back, 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 back to positive. That's 12 minutes. I'm gone.